we can all agree that 3D printing with resin offers many possibilities. But what about its use in thermoforming? Can the Make Multiplier, our own pressure forming machine, capture all the detail of your resin 3D printed parts? Hello, I'm Agustin from Meiku, and in this second video of our series on 3D printing and thermoforming, we will explore the advantages of using resin 3D printing to create super high quality thermoforming templates or tools. If you missed our video on how to make templates using filament 3D printing, check the link in the description. We are in the Fab Lab and showroom located at Universidad Francisco de Vitoria in Madrid, where some of the best prototyping and manufacturing technologies are used every day. So, let's get started. First, let's take a look at the resin 3D printing technologies. Resin 3D printing is an additive manufacturing technology in which a light source, laser or projection polymerizes a photosensitive resin. Stereolithography, also known as SLA, uses an ultraviolet laser to trace the shape of a layer. Let's talk about the advantages resin 3D printing offers when making templates. First, resin 3D printing makes parts with a very smooth surface finish. The smooth surface is really useful as it improves the demolding experience. Here you can see the difference between a filament 3D printed part and a resin 3D printed part. The difference is clearly visible. Then, with resin 3D printing, you can achieve a very high level of detail. This means you can add specific surface patterns, textures, or even small text to your templates. This allows you to make high quality final parts, not just prototypes. And if you're wondering whether the Mako multiplier can capture those details, the answer is yes. We even made a video showing some examples and it features some resin 3D printed templates. You can find the link in the description. And we can't forget that resin 3D printing is compatible with a wide range of materials. Some of these materials offer great temperature resistance and strength, making them perfect for thermoforming applications. Now that we have discussed the benefits of using this technology for making thermoforming applications, let's explore some design and manufacturing tips that can help you. First, we need to talk about air holes. Since resin 3D printing is highly precise, you can create air holes that are almost invisible. For instance, while creating for the Mako multiplier, we suggest that the air holes should not be bigger than 0.5 or 0.4 millimeters. We recommend 3D printing some test parts to determine the smallest air hole size and the best print orientation. Keep in mind that in some cases, resin may get trapped in those tiny air holes. To prevent this, we suggest adding tapered air holes that are tiny on the surface of the template and gradually increase in size as they get closer to the bottom. We also recommend checking and cleaning the air holes before the curing process by using a needle or an air gun. When slicing a print, orient the parts in a way that minimizes the amount of support material needed on visible parts. Consider placing most of the support material on the flat bottom parts of the template. It will look better and you will save time post-processing the template. All 3D printed parts, including thermoforming templates, should be optimized to reduce the material used as much as possible. We recommend hollowing the templates and adding a support structure on the inside to reduce both print time and material use. If you plan to use your template with the Mako multiplier, we recommend that the template shell be at least 5 mm thick. The internal structure can later be filled with plaster or similar materials to make the template solid again. However, it's important not to cover the air holes. And now we come to the layer height. Although the layer lines on a resin 3D printed template are almost invisible, a pressure forming machine like the Mako multiplier may still capture the layered surface texture. If you require a smooth part, we recommend using a 0.05 mm layer height to minimize the visibility of those layer lines. Additionally, consider modifying the print orientation if you have a curved template 
to hide the layer lines a little bit better. If you really need a perfect surface finish, sanding and polishing resin 3D printed templates is an option. You can use wet sanding or sandblasting to get a perfect smooth surface. And finally, if you are forming a very complex design or using a very rigid material on the multiplier like PMMA, we really recommend using a release agent such as dry PTFE spray. It really improves the demolding experience. Cover all the parts of the template that will come into contact with the plastic sheet with dry PTFE spray, then wipe all those surfaces clean so that they are touch dry. Earlier, I mentioned that one of the advantages of resin 3D printing is the wide range of materials that are compatible with this technology. However, what material works best for thermoforming applications? Based on our experience, standard resins, such as the grey ones or the clear ones, work well during prototyping. However, due to the high pressure and temperature during the thermoforming process, these templates may chip or warp after several uses. For your final part or for a prototype that will be used many times, we recommend using either high temperature or rigid resins. These resins have a high deflection temperature and a high tensile strength. Keep in mind that in addition to material choice, the template design also affects the template's lifespan. It's not the same to use a bulky template with a very thick shell as it is to form a very thin and long part that will probably warp or even break after multiple uses. As you can see, resin 3D printing is one of the best technologies for thermoforming applications. It offers an incredible level of detail and it's perfect to make prototypes and final parts. If you want to learn more about 3D printing thermoforming templates, I invite you to watch our other videos and visit the learn section on our website. I've left some links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.